Season one's been amazing for me. I mean, you know, it's, it's always um, very uh, liberating to play a char the character that least cares about what people think about him. Uh, because you can kind of get away with murder. Um, and, and you know that is, you know uh, that aside, I, you know, the very fact that you know we we've been able to tell the sort of story that doesn't get told on television very often. You know, this the, we're in a you know we're in a field of one in terms of the, the you know the, the the setting of this show and and the sort of thematic preoccupations of this show, I think. Um, and not that this is anything to do with me, but you know, hopefully like the audience, I have really enjoyed and found it very thrilling watching all the pieces of this really rather good musical uh, come together that apparently was all my, you know, all my own work. Uh, I, should, I should give credit to Josh Bagas uh, where credit is due because he's the one who makes me look like a genius. But anyway, um, you know, it's been thrilling uh, and it's partly been thrilling because there ain't nobody like us right now, so. There are a lot of cliffhangers uh, left dangling, tantalizingly, like ripe fruit uh, at the end of uh, this season finale. It wouldn't be a season finale without said low-hanging fruit. Um, uh, I think I probably would be spoil it would be spoileridge beyond spoileridge if I told you what they were, so I won't do that. But in terms of uh, Derek's uh, particular um, unilateral journey through uh, the, the, the season finale, a unilateral is actually a pretty good word for what happens to Derek in this episode. Um, through various uh, unforeseen circumstances, uh, the production has found itself in a situation whereby we have to uh, put one of our actresses who, uh, one of our two actresses who are qualified in different ways to uh, play Marilyn uh, on in front of the public with very, very little rehearsal. And as is Derek's way, uh, once he's made up his mind about something, he doesn't really care what anybody else thinks. Um, and that's how you get things done. Um, so a, a lot of Derek's uh, path through the episode is about um, getting on the Derek train, really, and, and, and making sure that what he wants to happen happens. Um, of course, there's a number of uh, obstacles in his way. Uh, some more formidable than others, and um, it wouldn't be smash if there weren't some, you know, fairly uh, high-quality arguments on the road to uh, our final scene of the season. Um, but yeah, uh, I would say kind of uh, belligerent, belligerent unilateralism is Derek's watchwords for the season finale. Well, you know, as any viewer of the show would know, um, Derek, uh, from, from day one really, has um, had strong opinions about both Ivy and Karen. Um, and the truth is, is that both characters are eminently qualified to play the role of Marilyn, and they're qualified for extremely different reasons, which is, I think, one of the, you know, the most intriguing aspects of the show.